Hey everybody, I'm Red Squirrel. Hey, 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 hey I'm around the corner. Hey y'all, I'm Darren at AK Southern Mama. We're by ourselves today. Yeah. And welcome to Wild Funny News. We got some good stuff for you. Yes. Excited about it. Another yes. day, another dollar. Yes. It's a beautiful yes, day yes, out there. Yes. It's raining, raining, raining. We've gotten rain all day yesterday, rain all day today, and I think rain tomorrow. So April showers bring my flowers. It does. That's what they say. We That's shall what see. They say. I um I put up uh, my little Martin house I was going down the road the other day and uh this old man had one out there in the yard and I don't know if he was gonna buy it if he bought a new he's put it up or whatever. anyway he's like uh Hit it with a lawnmower, tore it down, you can take it home. So I've got that up. We've been planting flowers and the little Martin are going in and out of it. They're all excited. Aww. And this is, I think it, the springtime on a farm is just the best in the world. I mean, everything blooming and hatching out and being born. Coming to life. Just, new day, new day. Yes. Well, we got some cool, funny stories for you. Jonna, why don't you just kick it right off? Well, I found this to be a very interesting and informative story. Mm. Divorce lawyer exposes top five professions women should avoid in a husband. Mm. Some may take this by surprise. I was very surprised. Uh, a divorce lawyer has offered advice on which five professions women should avoid when looking for uh, looking for a husband. Oh, okay? wow. Uh, the, uh, she said, over the course of my career, I've watched my most difficult cases, and shockingly, many of those involve men in these five professions. Mm. Okay. Oh, this is um, interesting. Let me guess. Um, mm, painter, musician, someone in entertainment. Uh, <laughs> am I over? Oh, for dessert? Oh, okay. man. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, they tend to be far more difficult in dealing with a divorce. They have kind of a nuke the earth, you know, scorch the earth, how dare you challenge me kind of approach to litigation. Hmm. So, now that that's out of the way, let's get to it. The top five professions to avoid in a husband based on her experience and in no particular order. First up, she mentions firefighters. Something I knew, she, I know a few firefighters. Something she never really understood, but it's up there. Followed by police officers, military, surgeons, and pilots. What? You're three of five there, aren't you? I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, shit. You took the whole whammy there, huh? If you look at these professions, what do they all have in common? Well, they're mm -hmm. like gods. You're a policeman. You're walking around with a gun. You're walking around with authority. If you're a surgeon, you're walking around the hospital. Everybody looks up to you. You're in charge. Everybody treats you with respect. And then you come home, and all of a sudden, somebody's asking you to take out the trash. I think that's kind of a difficult transition to make. Pilots, especially when you look at pilots, you cross over to the Air Force military. They're in control of like 150 to 200 people's lives at a time. They are treated with tremendous amount of respect and they have a lot of responsibility. And they tend to be very narcissistic and very controlling. Mm. My daddy was a pilot, a captain for Eastern Airlines. Your husband's been through of those things and still is, I so are know. you... I'm sure that there are great ones in these professions, but it just tends to be a theme that I see. I'm curious to hear the feedback on my discovery. You can bet there are some serious feedbacks with thousands of people talk, uh, taken to the comment section to share their experiences. My brother, a cop, told me to never marry a cop. I didn't listen and in the process of getting a divorce now. Mm. All the pilots that my friends dated cheated. Uh, another commented, divorced a surgeon and I confer can confirm this is true. Wow. Uh, others wanted to add some professions to the list, including this person who wrote, I would add personal trainer, LOL. I could see that. You know, you're right, kind of yeah, like that, the balls that, of the yeah, gym, right? Yeah. You look good. People you run these classes. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? People are looking at you. Have to, yeah. You have kind of some some kind of control there in the, in the, in, during the training anyway. And uh, somebody said investment bankers. Need that on the list. Very smart, money makers, narcissists. And they're kind of the they're kind of the the surgeons at the hospital there at the yeah, bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could, yeah. So, um, so places, so positions of authority, so, positions with a lot of free time, or or, or maybe uh, away jobs, maybe basically all the jobs you may be dating a dog. <laughs> Isn't that very interesting, though. It yeah. is interesting. That's yeah. I, I could. The firemen with the hoses, you know what I mean? They yeah. just got those those large apparatus and those 
those big hoses yeah, and all that they time. Have, they have to be confident. You know, they're going into burning buildings. Yeah, they, they got to keep their stuff know. up to, and shape yeah. for the most part. So, interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Well, this little old man may know some things about that. He should. He's been here long enough. Uh, the world's oldest man says the secret to his long life is luck, moderation, and fish and chips every Friday. That's right. The favorite food, fish and chips. I like fish and fries. I don't know about chips, but fish and fries. I guess that would be the same difference. Um, Englishman John Alfred Tenniswood, 111 years old, has been confirmed as the new holder of the title by Guinness World Records. It follows the death of Venezuelan record holder uh, Sean Vente Perez, um, Juan, excuse me, Juan uh, Perez. Uh, this month, at the age of 114, he passed away. Um, but that uh, Gizburo Sanebe from Japan, who was the next longest lived, died March 31st at 112. So, in other words, this guy's time is ticking. And, uh, but at 111 right now, he is the world's oldest. Um, oh, he's man. a cutie. Oh, my God. He's a cute little fella. A cute little fella. I just love that little man. Yeah, Tenniswood was presented with a certificate by Guinness World Records on Thursday at the care home uh, where he lives in Southport, New West, England. Born in Liverpool on August the 26th, 1912. That's 1912. Yeah, okay, it says here. Yeah, I was about to say that. Titanic popped in my head. It says a few months after the sinking of the Titanic. Wow. Tenniswood lived through two world wars. Serving in the British Army Pay Corps and in World War II. Oh. Uh, the retired accountant and great grandfather said moderation was key to a healthy life. He's, he never smokes, rarely drinks, and follows no special diet apart from the fish and chips supper once a week. So that is absolutely cute. He's quoted in saying, if you drink too much or you eat too much you, uh, or you walk too much, uh, if you do too much of anything, you're going to suffer eventually. Okay. Uh, but ultimately, he said, it's pure luck. You either live long or you live short, and you can't do much about it. Um, words the, of wisdom. Words of wisdom. The world's yeah. oldest woman uh, and oldest living person is 117-year-old Marie uh, Morara uh, of Spain. 117. So. That she is the uh, world's oldest person right now, and uh, and again a woman, shocker. Uh, but uh, the oldest man, yeah, Mister 111 year old London resident, uh, Mister Tenniswood. Oh, he's, so. he's a cutie. He's a cutie. I don't know if I can blow his picture up. I might can. Oh, I can. Oh my goodness. There he is. There he is. Flip it around his there. Little sweater vest. He's got a little sweater vest. He looks like he's happy, and it looks uh, as though he's thinking about fish and chips right there. That right that's there. a face of a. Fish and chip lover right there. So, so cute stuff. Cute. We hope you enjoy these stories. Thanks for stopping in with us. We love you very much. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'm Darren Knight, a.k.a. Southern Mom. And I'm Red Squirrel. Thanks for watching.